and that is a serious hole. That'd be a bad idea, I reckon. Go and drive forward a little bit. It's not meant to be this cold this time of the year. So we on our way to um, the Wenlock at uh, Morton. So the uh, spot we're going to, the Savo, is a little bit of a secret spot. So we uh, won't tell you exactly where it is, but somewhere along the Wenlock River. Uh, we haven't stayed there before, but we have floated past there before. So that sort of gave us the idea to go in there. So we're gonna go in there and chuck the tin in, go for a little bit of fish, the Savo. Back the old stomping grounds, the Wenlock River. Oh, well, we gotta get moving quickly. What about we get on the road? Well, I don't know about quickly, but we do have to get moving. No, I've done the numbers, mate. If we get moving really quickly, we still don't get there till after two. Seven From hours. Here. Seven hours. Seven here. more hours. I didn't hear anything down there, to be honest. What about we get on the road? We'll have a quick flick. Five minutes. Seven hours. No at, no hit. We just move. Righto. Five minutes. No hit. We just move. Let's boogie. Yeah, no, let's do it, guys. That was a pretty good early getaway, what is it? We woke up at 5.30 and uh, just a quick swag roll up, five minutes flicking and on the road by 10. <laughs> good. <laughs> you ready to go, mate? Yeah, mate, ready to go. Cool. Did you let your tyres down? Because you got bogged last night coming in, remember? No, no I just, uh, I did let them down for the dirt because I was still at the highway and I put it in full drive too, that helped. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah, so I did let it down yeah. and I'm no longer bogged. <laughs> Just come out just behind Steve after giving him shit about getting bogged. And uh, the auto just, when it hit that soft, stand, soft sand, the auto just loaded up the pressure on the gearbox and the car just stalled, which I haven't had happen before. So we've uh, just left camp. Um, and straight back out on the bitumen, but we're about to hit a little bit of dirt yeah. here. So from here to uh, we're going to a, uh, pretty much more telegraph station, so we've got about 350 k's to do. And then when we get there, we'll uh, go follow a track down the Wenlock and uh, go camp on the Wenlock River. Hey Steve, uh, did you guys work out on the maps how far it was that we got to go today? Uh, yeah, mate, we. I had a look on um, Hema and it's about 350. That shouldn't be too bad. We should get there a lot earlier than I thought. Hope to get it done in about four and a half hours, depending on the truck in there. All right, eh? All right, sweet. Cheers, mate. There's just, oh, a bit bumpy on the car park. Well, there's a Russell Coit, what a legend. Bit of a childhood idol, so it'd be really good to catch up with the man. We go away, fellas, eh? So that was just a quick stop, quick stop at Musgrave uh, Roadhouse. Hey Mark, 
Come on, man, we're going or what? What are you up to? Good day for it. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to say much. You just get a feeling when you're with people. And yeah, real genuine bush, bush icon. I met a hero today. Yeah, so Phil has just found out that all the jerky is packed in your car, Steve, and he is very upset that he's travelling with me at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Going? Good mate. That's it. Good. Phil got his jerky ration. He's calmed down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's settled. You want to be trapped in a small space with him when he's angry because there's no jerky. Also being trapped in a small space with him after having a lot of jerky is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy four. How big's the tank? Eighty. Seventy four. <laughs> really? Eighty. Yeah. Well, see, only had six liters left. Yeah. Yeah. So it didn't have a lot. No, I didn't have a lot. Yeah. It only says it says fifty k's left. Yeah. Yo. So that's our little Archer River stop there. Um, just filled up with fuel, and then that'll be us until probably Jardine River. So we'll do Wenlock this afternoon and then on to the telly truck from there. man. So to, once we turn off the road here, how far in is it roughly? Yeah, it's probably about three or four mile from the main road out there. Three or four mile is a lot better than 50 mile. <laughs> the new standard. Everything's imperial on this road. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to see if we can run the imperial system this whole trip. I reckon even closer mate, I'm just about to start heading downhill. So I'd say we're pretty much arrived. This is the go. This place is a winner. boat feels, eh? Yeah, mate. Pretty good. Shiny. It'd be a shame to put the first bit of blood on it. I disagree. Woo! Good eat. Back in the Wenlock, baby! Eww. Mate, first fish of the trip. Happy days. Yeah. Oh! Doesn't surprise me. Mark dropping another fish. Did they fight on it? Oh yeah, toga. Good to, good to get that off the back, first toga. These guys have still got the pressure on. Mark, lift it in for it. No, I've got it. No, I meant like. Two hits, but I haven't hooked up yet. So, story of my life. I landed the lure about a metre off the log and he just shot out from under the log. Fuck the fucking the knot, lose that. The knot between the braid and the mono just let go. Oh, four drops from four. So Mark's staring down the barrel of a big donut here, big zero. 
There's some quicksand around here. In your face, that would bitches! <laughs> so in about 10 days we're going to float uh, the same river the Wenlock from Morton down to Billy's Lagoon and this is it's interesting to see the river at this height at the moment because when we floated it last year it was about 600 mil higher is that right Mark? Yeah 600 mil. It was about 600 mil higher so it's obviously a lot different here and we probably could still float this at the moment, but it'd be hard going. There's a lot of spots you'd have to get out. So I don't know what that says for downstream further, but hopefully it's not quite as shallow as this. Tonight we're doing chili. We're gonna cook it in that big pot on the jet boil. Crowd favorite, everyone loves it. So I've been using this jet boil genesis for a while now. Um, it's actually very impressive how good it is, especially in wind. Um, it uses the same sort of um, fin on the bottom as like your standard jet boil. So that pot gets really hot really fast, good for boiling water. And it also comes with a little pan too, so you can do your rice and you stir fry there or something like that. So it's a good little setup. Doesn't use much gas, gets really hot, handles the wind. What more could you want? Ooh, good sizzle there. Got a little swizz around. That looks good. So we've got Fax's chili. Serving up for dinner looks really good. Some corn chips over there. Begin. Now, now, now you're on a diet, darling. <laughs> yeah, a couple of seeds in there. That was the sketchiest forward driving I've ever done. <laughs> Oh, holy shit! <laughs>